Hey there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great today? Out of Daventer in the Netherlands, Adrian de Kleifer. I think I'm saying that right. 23 year old, um, skated 1500 in Insel a few weeks back and wanted to focus on this for a couple reasons today because there are a lot of skaters, hundreds if not thousands, that are just below world class level. At 150 in Insel, that's a good time. So skating very well, but needs tips to improve to the next level to become world class to challenge not only um, regionally but nationally and internationally. So that seems to be where this skater is and um, wanted to focus on this technique because a lot of people share um, what I'm going to throw out as a possible challenge to skaters such as Adrian. All right, so let's watch this. Now the fundamentals are in place, you know, obviously a competent skater, and he's on the outer by the way. Got the hockey going on in the inner inner, that's cool. But let's look at this. Like things are in place here. This is relatively good skating. And you can tell he's got a little bit of that uh, keen for why uh, rhythm to him. I love it. Um, but what I want to point out, and this is the opener, but still, the main thing, there's a big thing that skaters like Atrion uh, miss, and that is power down into the ice. It's like all the, all the pieces are there except for using the ice so you can get power from it. It's almost like you're skating above the ice instead of getting into the ice. And those are two very different things and you get power from the ice surface. If you're not putting power into the ice surface, you're not going to get power out of it and therefore your speed will be slower. Therefore, what a skater like this wants to do is really hammer on the pressure as he's coming through the hit zone right here. So the best guys are already pounding. They're, they're carving and coming through a little faster and more powerfully instead of just a nice, it's a nice rhythm. But you don't see that really power down that you see in the best. It's explosive power. Which is kind of back and forth. In the U.S. we call it kind of sing-songy. But um, again, competent and turns. You know, these things are all good too. This is really good. Nice angle on the blade, obviously moving in. Nice entry into this turn. Let's see how it is with one skate on the ice. It's off that clap. Good sitting position. These are all good things. But you can see, and also a really good arm reversal, early arm. Not staying with this too long with the left. So he's off that left. But what we see is direction of push is back. That means late pressure on that right because this left is still on the ice. So you need to exhaust your pushes. If you're going to be a competent corner skater, never put the other skate down until one is finished. If you do that, you clean all this stuff up. So there's a backward direction and an ankle that's collapsed here a little bit because the emphasis on the right skate is too late. So move your pushes up, be earlier, and get done earlier. So cut off the end of a push and put it to the beginning of the next one. So take that end of the right and put it to the left. That means crush down and move against the skate as if it's not moving. You have to move against your skate in the turn as if it's not even moving and you're moving your entire mass forward against it. Instead of pushing out away from your mass, you push your mass in and away from your skate. You do that and you'll have a lot more success. So it's nice competent skating, but you can see, let's watch this in fast motion, and you can see the way I do that it's, it's nice, but it's not into the ice. You want to get into that ice and push down and get into it and get, you'll get much more travel forward. Much more. So you want to be moving forward. Remember, you're moving forward through space. So 
for me, I would like to see a better sitting position on this right here, driving right down and coming more forward with this skate. Move with that lead skate in the turn and the straightaway. Leave this one behind soon and really crush it with the glute. Don't skate with your calf or your leg. It's all out of this mass that you want to skate. And just drop your skates underneath. So that's what I would suggest for skaters. Many, many skaters like Adrian that are real competent and also has a great last lap here, 29-3. Um, doesn't give up against its pair and uh, goes 150 so really good race but what I would say for skaters there are many many like this right on the edge of, of, of great things use the ice more put pressure down into the ice more move your mass against your skate versus leaving your letting your skate slide out a, away from your mass and especially in the turns push down drive forward one skate on the ice and try to get that distance between your skates as you move forward so if you do those things and sit deep you're gonna go fast there's a lot of there's a lot of great potential here that's it on this edition of speed skating deconstructed always good to, to um, highlight different styles of skating and also different levels of skating on the channel thanks for watching